So for this video, I'm gonna talk about the antidiuretic hormone disorders, ADH, that is secreted from the posterior pituitary gland. And with your ADH, we know that it is antidiuretic, so it's against diuresis. It concentrates the urine, so it makes sure that you don't pee too much. So for the two disorders, you have diabetes insipidus, and you have the syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone. So let's start with diabetes insipidus. This is not enough ADH. So your signs and symptoms, polyuria, they're gonna be urinating a lot. Because of that, they're going to have excessive thirst, polydipsia. The urine output could be anywhere from five to 20 liters within 24 hours. They can show hypernatremia, which is high salt levels. And because of all of that, they can go into hypovolemic shock. For diagnostics, the urine specific gravity test is done. Usually their levels show less than 1.003. Also their sodium serum levels are greater than 145. And we know that the normal range is 135 to 145. The water deprivation test is done and also a CT scan of the cell of Turnica. So your meds and treatment, you can use your Desmopressin, DDVAP, also Vasopressin. You want to eliminate coffee, tea, and caffeine or anything that's going to increase diuresis. Your nursing interventions, you want to protect the patient from injury due to fatigue, so they're always going to the bathroom, so you want to just monitor them. You want to monitor their INO, assess skin trigger and oral mucous membranes for dehydration, daily weights, and you want them to wear a MedAlert bracelet. So now for syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone, this is too much ADH. So it's holding in too much of your diuresis. So they're going to show hyponatremia, low salt levels, water retention. Their salt can be less than 125. They're gonna show tremors or seizures. Also the fluid intake exceeds the urinary output and fluid accumulates into the vascular system versus the peripheral system. Your diagnostics, serum osmolality, also the urine specific gravity test again, but this time their levels will be greater than 1.032. Your medications and treatment, you want to do fluid restriction, 800 to 1,000 milliliters a day. Also, you can give meds such as demiclocycline, lithium carbonate, or furosemide, which is Lasix. Your nursing interventions, you want to perform a neurologic exam and check their hydration status. You wanna auscultate lung sounds since they're retaining fluid. Monitor O2 sats, monitor electrolytes. INO, you want to have fluid restriction again to prevent fluid overload. And for those taking Lasix, you wanna give the potassium supplement. So as you can see, your ADH, you have not enough ADH, you have too much. So you, if you can remember one or the other, you know that it's going to be the opposite. So you know with diabetes insipidus, they're losing everything. With syndrome of inappropriate, they're retaining everything. So take a minute to look at that. Those are your antidiuretic hormones.